make sure to stick around for the end because the best part or the worst part, the funny part is right at the end. It also explains why I keep trying and how this is a video journal of my progress as an artist. So stay tuned, I'll show you the progress on step by step how this came together uh, using some uh, techniques I just learned. I think it's the uh, one of the more effective portraits I've done, but stick to the end because there is definitely a surprise and funny ending. Last week there was a 24 hour continuous broadcast uh, as a tribute to Richard Schmidt, the great artist who passed away this year. And on the uh, Zoom broadcast were many of the well-known artists today who trained and learned or painted right beside him. And I finally decided to pay over $100 for uh, his book, which is considered the, the standard for artists, but I couldn't see paying $100 for a book. But after the broadcast, I finally did. I started reading Alla Prima II uh, by this great artist. And one of the uh, tips that he gave that is his favorite style of working is direct painting. Now, I know you can't tell too much from the start, but I'm going to show in bits and pieces here step by step how I'm going to try the Richard Schmidt way of direct painting of this little portrait of Starlight, our granddaughter who's not even two years old yet. She picked up a book and I really liked the pose and the way it looked. And uh, you can't really tell a whole lot here, but I've laid in, um, as Richard would do, uh, get as close to the actual color of the initial lay-in. Don't do lines, do shapes. And so I've got her hair and head roughly outlined. I've got the pink of the book um, laid in as a big color mass. And I've started to put in her arm in hand uh, holding the book. And so this is my starting stage and Richard's goal was why not get it right the first time instead of laying in and underpainting, although there are times he would do that, instead of laying in and underpainting, why not go directly in and with the right colors and the right mixes from the start and then work from there. The next thing that he would do, and that'll be the next stage uh, that I'll do, is he would actually start to work with the eyes and the way he would get his proportions and measurements and relationships correct is he would uh, go straight to the eye and then work over to the other eye and then begin to look at where everything lines up to begin making the other marks. And again, laying in as close to the actual color and the final color as he could. And those who uh, trained with him said that uh, he would take a long time mixing his paint and getting the colors right and the values right and all that, and then lay in the stroke. Uh, so what looked like a slow process, he would actually get a painting done more quickly than them because he'd get it right the first time. So that's the principle. Now we'll see how I do in practice. So 15 minutes later, here's what I have. And I've got to say it's a more convincing start than I've done before. Um, I haven't finished all of the work around the eyes and that, but I think I've got the proportions right and the placement right. And uh, that was within 15 minutes. So this is a totally different way for me to work, trying to get those colors right, right from the beginning, go in directly, but also using the finest liner brushes uh, that I have. Normally, that's the kind of thing you do at the end. And here I'm doing it at the beginning. 
And what's exciting about it is I can kind of see how this is going to come together. And it does look like starlight at the, at the moment. And everything's a lot more subtle. Um, so, so far, so good. We'll see how it progresses. I've made a lot of progress in just another 30 minutes. And this direct method is working really well. Here's how it's coming together. Obviously, I'll be doing more detail in the face, but boy, the general outline, and I think I've got the proportions right. And uh, the foreshortening in that arm right up there really threw me and I had to adjust the height of the book. It goes almost up to her high level, which makes sense. And uh, so now the fun part will come. Now that I have everything in place, I can start to lay in the uh, colors and the detail and highlights and shadows. But just as Richard Schmid said, if you start as close to accurate or correct as you can get, then the rest becomes the uh, whipped cream on the on the pie. <laughs> Was one of the ways that he said about the fun of doing the final stages of a painting. But I think it's probably the best I've done in the initial lay-in of a portrait without having to do any drawing or anything just going straight in directly with the paint so we'll keep going here we are at the third stage uh this time about another 45 minutes beginning to lay in a little more detail and especially in the eye area and getting most of the face tones down now in color and starting to do a little bit with the book abstractly added her shirt have uh, more of the background expressively laid in and also worked on the hair quite a bit the dark part of the hair will start laying in the highlights next So here's the finish in a totally different style, but I'm happy with it. I'm getting better. It's not perfect, but considering that I did no sketching, no projector, uh, nothing other than directly in with the paint, and that I started directly with the eyes and then started to go from there to measure and make everything fit, and I stayed loose on the edges. That's why the book is so faded and her other hand holding the book down here is barely visible, just suggested, but it's there and not even finishing the canvas on the edges. It's just the loose expressive style that I'm learning by looking through Richard Smith's book, Alla Prima too. So for me, portraits are still very much a learning curve and I still need to keep trying and trying but I'm happy with this one this is a, a keeper uh, for our family of little starlight who's not even two years old and wanting grandpa to read to her so you saw how proud I was of the step-by-step -step, uh, progress and uh, the things I learned for Richard Schmidt and the bits and pieces I picked up of starting with the eyes and working out and getting the measurements and proportions. But the real test is what do my harshest critics, I mean family, uh, think of the result of this is the funny part and the surprise uh, <laughs> ending and, and the funny part. So uh, Hannah, who is my best critic and definitely has an eye for art and she does good art herself. I just wish she had more time uh, to uh, keep trying. Uh, her comment <laughs> was that it looks like a doll from a scary Halloween movie. Um, the, uh, uh, it does not look like Starlight and uh, 
Linda said the same thing. Well, not the scary part and not the mean, <laughs> not, not, not the mean part. Uh, but the real test and the most honest, unvarnished truth was when Izzy, or, or uh, Starlight's sister, Izzy, who's seven, well, almost seven, she's still six, walked into my studio and took a look at it and kind of puzzled it out and, and then asked, who is it? And this is after I had finished the painting. So that's what I knew. I was sunk. So why would I show on a video something that failed? And, and I think the reason is that this is part of my progress as an artist, and I am tackling things that I struggle with, and I really have a hard time with portraits. And I can honestly say this is the best portrait I've done. I'm improving. I, I picked up some tips that really helped, but uh, I have a long way to go. And I want an honest reflection in my videos. That's Starlight screaming in the background. Uh, probably complaining about the way she looks in this portrait. So anyway, I want an honest video journal of my journey and progress as an artist. And uh, I won't allow the criticism to suck away all of my soul. <laughs> and we'll keep trying and know that it's a weakness and the only way to overcome it is to keep trying. And I hope that becomes good advice to uh, anyone trying this. You don't start out playing in Carnegie Hall uh, when you learn to play the piano. And I'm a long way from the Louvre. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Because it was 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 because it was